If you are trying to link two computers together, the easiest method is to join them to the same network. Wired connections using Ethernet work best for speed and reliability, but it's easy enough to link together two devices wirelessly. The most obvious solution is to simply connect both computers to the same router. However, I assume that you want to connect these machines and there's no router around. In that case, you can create an ad hoc wireless network on one computer and then join it with the other. Open a PowerShell terminal window, then type netsh wlan show drivers. This will list information about your available Wi-Fi devices, including whether they support the ability to create a virtual access point. If the hosted network supported option is listed as no, then you may need to update the installed driver or try another network device. If your device supports it, type netsh wlan set hosted network mode equals allow SSID equals ad hoc key equals password to create a virtual Wi-Fi network. Just replace SSID and key with your own preferred network name and Wi-Fi network password. Once you've done that, type netsh wlan start hosted network to start the network. Assuming there are no errors, the ad hoc wireless network you've created should be visible to other devices. Connect to it using the network password you specified to complete the connection. If you want to disable the ad hoc network when you're finished, type netsh wlan stop hosted network in the open PowerShell window. Any devices that are currently connected will be disconnected at this point, and the ad hoc network will no longer be visible to other devices. Once an ad hoc network has been established, you can use it to share files across devices or use internet connection sharing to share an existing internet connection. While a Wi-Fi network, permanent or ad hoc, is a great way to connect two computers wirelessly, an alternative is to use Bluetooth to create a connection. While the available range and speeds require both devices to be nearby, Bluetooth has been designed with short-term connections in mind. To connect two devices wirelessly using Bluetooth, you'll need to make sure that both devices have Bluetooth connectivity. Many modern laptops and PCs come with Bluetooth built in, but you can use an external USB Bluetooth adapter to make a connection if it's missing. To start, make sure that Bluetooth is turned on on the device you're looking to connect to. You can do this on Windows 10 by selecting the Action Center icon in the bottom right corner of the taskbar, then select the Bluetooth card to the on position. Next, open the settings menu by right clicking the start menu and selecting the settings option. In the settings menu, go to the devices, Bluetooth and other devices menu, then select add Bluetooth or other device. In the add a device window, select the Bluetooth option. A list of nearby Bluetooth devices will appear in the next menu. Select the other computer you wish to connect to to establish a connection. Remember, that computer's Bluetooth has to be on as well and it has to be available. You may need to authenticate by typing in a PIN code that will be displayed on both screens. Once you've established a connection, right-click the Bluetooth icon in the notification area of your taskbar. From the menu, select the Send a File or Receive a File option to send or receive files, or choose Join a Personal Area Network to join or create a shared network. This allows you to share an internet connection with other devices as well. These are the most direct ways of creating a network connection between two computers. If all you want to do is send files directly, check out the article linked in the description below for instructions on how to do that using Wi-Fi Direct. See you next time.